There are continuous interventions, an attitude that they had to put the leaders. But we cannot allow it as citizens of this region to decide or to give them the opportunity to decide what will be the position, who will rule our countries. This will never go against the dignity of the region. And we are here as the Prime Minister of Dominica to say to the President of Venezuela that we always remain in solidarity with Venezuela. And it is true that we have friendship links with you, President, but with our solidarity is also with the people of Venezuela. But this solidarity can never be questioned. We recognize you as the constitutional president, democratically elected as president of Venezuela. And we will always find the president. What would have happened with President Morales? That would never happen. That cannot happen in our countries. All the countries have to show the solidarity with Bolivia and with the fight. Their fight. Here we are talking about the future. Of the world, but we cannot forget those who do not want us to remain together. What has what have happened with our countries is that millions of dollars are, are, are be, being used by this NGO not only as an attempt to overthrow the democratically elected governments, but we have to fight against these NGOs to expose them because they are not friends of the peoples. And we want to say, my friends of Cuba, that we are confident that we will, we will see the defeat of the blockade against Cuba. 183 countries are saying to a country, enough is enough. It is immoral, it is unjust, and we are calling to an end to the blockade. And it is impo important for us not only to vote in the United Nations, but to continue with we continue raising our voices and showing solidarity to the government of Cuba because how it is possible that in the 21st century we are afraid of denouncing this injustice. To call on our countries and to denounce these injustices and to stop the interventions in the internal affairs, Cuba has been under a blockade for more than 60 years. We can say to us, without any kind of contradictions, if it wasn't for Cuba, then all of us in the Caribbean would have been so successful as we have done so far against the fight of the fight against the COVID-19. Cuba has sent doctors, nurses to other countries. And whenever we need a friend, Cuba is a true friend because it has shown that commitment of solidarity, which is the base of the Cuban revolution. And we say to Cuba, 
that Dominica will always be, will always, will always have a solidarity position. So, Mr. President, here we are to express our, my solidarity with Alba. We've been here for the last seven years, and we will always be part of this institution of ALBA. And we will continue working, because we are not afraid of speaking out loud or representing the oppressed people of our region, independently of the kind of pressure exerted, exerted against us. We have to remain sure, committed, we have elections in 2019, and the OAS, which is supposedly an organization that brings peace and prosperity and that should maintain law, but it was, it interfered in the elections in Dominica. T trying to overthrow our president, but we sent a very clear message to the OAS that we were decided to decide. We were decided to. <laughs> we have defeated the enemy with more than 85% of the seats of the parliament in a rejection to the attempts of the imperialism to interfere in our country. So we said to all of you that we are ready to, to the fight. We have to remain united, alert, and to study the situation. Let's continue advancing, Mr. President. A solid ally, and we will not be distracted by any power. That wants to change our commitment with Alba and with the principles of integrations. We have shown for so many years. So that's what I want to say to you, Mr. President. And I also want to tell you that I admire your determination because you could survive Trump's era. You survived Trump. I have no doubt. And I have no doubt that you will survive many other presidents of the United States because the people of Venezuela is with you. The people of this hemisphere is chose solidarity to you and with your government. And so let's continue advancing. to continue supporting the ideas of Simón Bolívar and so many heroes that sacrificed for us, Chávez, Fidel, and my comrade, Ralph González. That has been a key element in the fight against colonialism in the Caribbean. In Dominica, we are as solid as a rock with our commitment to this movement and our solidarity with the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and with the Venezuelan government, President Nicolás Maduro, who was elected by the people. Showing the will and following the path of its leadership and its contribution with this integration process. Thank you very much, Mr. President.